This is the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Wednesday, the 4th of January. This is James Spann. All eyes are on the end of the week. The one thing we'll promise, it's going to turn very cold. The hard part, will there be snow or sleet or freezing rain and who gets what? We'll see if we can sort things out this morning with a bunch of new data in. Let's dive in. This is the water vapor satellite view across the nation early this morning. We're watching that vortex setting up north of the state over the upper Midwest. That's going to pull down some cold air. It's going to come down in two phases. The first will come in today. The really cold air gets in here on Friday. These are numbers early this morning as the day begins. That leading edge of colder air is moving into North Alabama. Low 40s there. 50s below that. Uh, Alexander City at 57. We'll kind of sit around 50 all day today. Temperature's not going anywhere. And you work your way northward. You got St. Louis at 20, Tulsa at 22. Deeper in the colder air as the day begins. And up north, they are below zero, those shades of light blue over the Dakotas in Minnesota. And that's that really cold air we'll feel at the end of this week. And again, we want to stress that's going to be the coldest air for most so far this season. That is really uh, maybe the big story here. But again, everybody focuses on that winter weather possibility. And we'll talk about that certainly in detail here. There's our watch warning map if you're traveling winter storm warnings out west from uh, Colorado to the mountains of California. And up in the northern tip of Maine, this is the precipitation for the next five days, valid through Monday morning of next week. And you can see the amounts are pretty light over the northern part of the state. But let's go to the map everybody wants to see. This is the chance of greater than one inch of snow between early Friday morning and early Saturday morning. Coming from our friends up at WPC, this is part of NOAA. And uh, you can see that the higher probabilities of greater than one inch of snow are actually over central Alabama in the 30 to 40 percent bracket and that's kind of in the line with the GFS and there's still a whole lot of model madness here and this is the chance of some freezing rain in that same period from early Friday morning to early Saturday morning greater than one hundredth of an inch of freezing rain and you can see the numbers are actually greater than 50% along Interstate 85, Montgomery to Auburn, Opelika, almost up to Atlanta. So understand, there could be some freezing rain in the mix here. And uh, it is a very challenging call at this phase of the game. But let's look at the modeling here. This is the GFS. And uh, people that watch these videos every day, you know that these maps, this is not a forecast. This is just model output, and we kind of talk our way through it. This is noon today, about 18,000 feet off the ground. A vortex setting up to the north. Pretty good north wind kicks in. Cloudy periods today with a high around 50. It's going to be about uh, 15 degrees cooler than yesterday. Tomorrow, partly sunny and cool. The high will be in the low to mid 50s. No weather issues tomorrow. Now, this is Friday. And uh, this is at noon. The new surge of cold air drops in. Both the NAM and the GFS are showing a high of only 34 on Friday. Uh, it's going to be a very cold day. In fact, North Alabama, north of Birmingham, will likely stay below freezing all day. And the GFS uh, is suggesting you can see precipitation moving in with the waves. So let's go to 6 o'clock Friday evening. And trust me, the radar will not look like this. This is just model output, but this is suggesting rain for the southern uh, third of the state, basically south of US 80, and a chance of snow in the colder air. I think the one thing that's very important to note here, we're not really uh, that concerned about whether it's going to be rain or snow. If anything falls for Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden, more than likely it's going to be snow. Uh, all the forecast soundings suggest that. The question is, will there be enough moisture and lift for that to happen at all? Uh, this is midnight Friday night. Uh, and again, off the GFS, rain for South Alabama, the snow and maybe some sleet and freezing rain for parts of Central Alabama. The red line, that's the 32-degree line from near Grove Hill to Montgomery to near Opelika. And that's why we're saying there could be some icy travel Friday night. There could be. Uh, so just be aware of that possibility. And this is 6 o'clock Saturday morning. The GFS suggesting there could be a changeover to snow or wintry precipitation maybe as far south as, goodness, uh, Bay Manette and Atmore and Eufaula. 
but we're not forecasting this. This is just model output, and this is the snow output coming off the GFS, and you have to use this with caution a little bit because it also takes into account freezing rain and sleet, but this would suggest maybe some light snow for parts of central Alabama, really nothing for the Tennessee Valley. Um, so let's look at the European. Different uh, type model, different equations, different physics. This is Friday evening at 6 o'clock, and it's not quite as cold as the GFS, and this is showing rain for the southern half of the state and a band of very light snow over the Tennessee Valley. Again, this is 6 o'clock Friday evening. This is midnight Friday night, and it's got mostly rain south of Interstate 20 with a chance of some freezing or frozen precipitation on the northern periphery of that. Then by 6 o'clock Saturday morning, uh, possibly a change over to snow for parts of east and northeast Alabama. And this is the snow potential coming off the European. And again, it's radically different. So we still got model madness. And this is suggesting a little bit, not much, mostly under a half inch for the northern third of the state. And again, the, the, the European typically is a little more reliable in these cases. Not always, but typically. And we have to kind of lean in that direction. This is the snow output coming off the North American mesoscale model. We are now within 84 hours of this event. And again, it's got potential for a little bit around Montgomery and Auburn and a little bit up in the Tennessee Valley and nothing for Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden. And the Canadian, just for the fun of it, and it's got a little bit of light snow for the northern third of the state. And again, maybe a touch down to Montgomery. So uh, you can see the, the conflict here, but I, I think the idea is that if we do see snow or sleet across our state, it's going to be fairly light for most places. So again, we're not ready to throw out one of these maps that shows potential accumulation yet. It's, it's just too early. We, we can't do that. We were hoping we could. Sometimes we can, but in this case, the uncertainty is too high. So we're going to mention the chance of some light snow, sleet, maybe freezing rain Friday and Friday night, especially for the northern half of the state. It is too early to be specific with the forecast accumulation potential and placement. For most, it looks like the amounts will be one half inch or less if you see any snow at all. Some of you in North Alabama could see not one flake. Uh, but isolated heavier amounts are possible, but nobody can identify that right now. And again, we're trying our best to coordinate where the weather service or the whole weather enterprise is on the same page, giving you a unified message. And again, th that graphic you see there, it's got the, the main chance of some light accumulating snow for the northern half of the state. But even if you're below that, you, you've got a chance. It's, chance is not zero. But hopefully later today uh, on the afternoon update, we can draw up a much more specific map. But one thing in terms of travel and impact, uh, there could be some icy travel even during the day Friday where the stuff begins to fall, especially in North Alabama where temperatures could be below freezing. But I think the main chance of any icy travel will be Friday night over the northern half of the state. And then by early Saturday morning, it's all over. This is the day Saturday. And again, the screaming message, it's going to be cold. That's a 1045 millibar high building in from the north. Uh, Saturday, very cold, and again, uh, we'll stay below freezing much of the day. Uh, the sun breaks out. We think the sky becomes partly sunny. We creep up into the maybe mid to upper 30s by mid-afternoon, and uh, a snow threat continues east of the state for parts of Georgia and the Carolinas. Uh, there's a look at the actual uh, temperatures. Much of the country in very cold air on Saturday. Sunday, we're cold and dry. Sunday morning, uh, we'll see teens in the colder spots. Birmingham showing 20 on the GFS. The high will be around 40. The sky will be bright and sunny. And Monday, Monday morning, we could see teens. The GFS is printing 18 for Birmingham with a 1044 high just east of here. The high Monday will be in the 40s. This is Tuesday. We warm up into the 50s. And Wednesday, a shortwave trough coming in. And this is suggesting a chance of rain Wednesday of next week. It'll be warm enough for just rain at that point. This is the end of the forecast period, the end of next week on Friday the 13th. Hey, upper high over the Gulf nosing in, so we'll be dry and fairly pleasant if that verifies. In fact, here's the numbers. You can see the cold spike Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Highs only in the 30s. Uh, lows down around 20. Teens for the colder pockets, but then we go back to near 60 by the middle part of next week. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or on television, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.